there's a common misconception that you have to spend a lot of money to get a good watch. I'm here to tell you that simply isn't true. You don't have to spend what you'd usually spend on a car to get a good watch. Watches with incredible specifications, even from well-known brands. I have a list of 10 incredible watches that proves exactly that. And the last one is insanely cheap. Hi guys, my name is Jason and I am your watch guy today. We are starting off this list with the Signum Cuda. I labeled the Signum Cuda as a new king of affordable dive watches and I stick by every word. This watch is incredible value. The dials are beautiful and this brand just keeps going from strength to strength. The Cuda is available for as little as $299 with a pearl dial. That's insane value when you consider what's on offer here. And if you want to step up a little bit in what you want to pay, they have even more options for you. Like my own cathedral dial with a Myota 9000 series movement in the back. It does everything that you need as a dive piece and they have not shorted you on anything here. I genuinely don't know how they are making money with this type of pricing and this quality of watch. I really love what Signum do, and I think you would too. We all know that a big brand name always adds a premium to a watch, but I think a brand that is completely underrated, even on the Japanese market, is Citizen. One of my favorite watches in my collection is a Citizen Promaster Super Tough. It's an insanely robust watch that has that militaristic go anywhere, do anything, type of feel to it. The Eco Drive movement is completely future proof. That titanium casing follows in suit of that. It fits well to wrist. I absolutely adore wearing it on a day to day basis. And the casing is what makes that all possible. And unlike their countrymen at Seiko, Citizen have used a sapphire crystal in this piece, even if it is mid range in their lineup. There's so much to love about this watch and the price is definitely amongst them. You can pick one of these up brand new for the equivalent of $450, but I have seen plenty of deals if you search well enough where you can get it way cheaper. Revelot have always been a brand that I have claimed have undervalued their watches. As well as that, I am always praising them for what they create. They're always incredibly well made, their specifications hold up against the big boys on the market, and most importantly, their watches look so goddamn good. My favorite has to be the Revelot Hex Mariner. A modern take on a Submariner style design, but completely revolutionized. And this quote from me on their website still holds up to this day. The crystal star pattern on the dial is absolutely mesmerizing. The hands are incredibly well finished. Everything down to the bracelet design on this watch is just perfect for me. The angles to the bracelet and the casing flow so well together, but also give a fantastic robust look to them. And for as little as £250 from their website, this brings so much quality for the price, it's insane. This next one is from one of the biggest Swiss brands on the market. Tissot throughout history have always offered well-made watches that are refined, sophisticated, and suit everyone's budget. Personally, I believe that the PR100 is probably one of their best value pieces. The one that I'm focusing on can be had for as little as £265 and it looks stunning. The namesake for this piece comes from precise, robust and 100 meter water resistance. It certainly holds up to all of that. The brushed effect dial accents the gold tones throughout the handset and the indices perfectly. The leather band is an ideal fit for this style of watch and it only elevates it as a whole. The Tissot brand obviously adds to the premium of this watch. They are one of the most well-known Swiss providers of watches for the last 100 years. And out of their entire lineup, which is vast, I think this is the best value piece out of them all. Around the £250 mark is where you will start to find watches with much more substance. That being said, this primitive house Timekeeper has the vibe that you'd expect from a watchmaker with decades of experience and expertise in the market. However, this Bauhaus inspired spark of excellence is their first release. The colors throughout each dial design are brilliant. The casing makes for a perfect fitting watch. I and many other reviewers featured this watch previously and I'm pretty sure we all said the same thing. This thing is way too cheap. The design goes miles above 
what it should. And I think this could be the perfect beginner watch for someone that's getting into the hobby. But it would also be the ideal addition to any collection because without spending a thousand pound plus, you do not get this style anywhere else. It just kind of has it all. Bulova are one of the oldest watchmakers in the game and they've always brought something a little bit special to the market. From the first televised advertisement to the insane Accutron pieces, it has to be said, they're a pretty special brand. And their Sutton Heartbeat is a pretty special watch. On sale at Joma Shop right now for $229. This watch oozes sophistication and I think it would be the ideal, the perfect alternative to a Cartier tank when you have a budget. It has the classic rectangular shape, a beautiful dial and those numerals scream classic Cartier to me. Everyone loves an automatic movement. However, I know the open heart design isn't for everyone, but right here, it works perfectly well for me. Overall, this is an incredibly elegant piece and one that I could definitely see in my own collection as well as plenty of yours. And more importantly, it won't destroy the bank balance. The Seiko SKX was once my favorite watch. It's now a distant memory in the budget dive world. However, Seiko's sister company, Orient, have us covered. The Orient Mako 3, some would even argue, is better than the SKX. It features an automatic movement, a dive bezel, a sapphire crystal, and plenty of dial and case options. You can find your perfect fit with these. And if you look in the right places, you can pick one up between 150 and 180 pounds. I've linked one website in the description to make that a little bit easier for you. We can't have the SKX for a fair price anymore. However, this could be the last surviving true budget dive watch on that Japanese market that comes close to the SKX. Personally, I'd opt for this black and gilt number. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It may be on a rubber band, but who really wants that cheap bracelet anyway. You'll probably be switching it out on arrival. And as I said, between 150 and 180 pounds, link below. I reviewed this watch very recently and I was blown away by the quality that Monroe are offering, especially considering the low prices that they are offering these divers at. I believe you can still pick them up on Kickstarter around the 260 pound mark. That's an insane price. If you want to see why I'm so in love with this watch, check out my review. But in short, the dial is stunning. It's packed with nuclear level loom. It completes every functionality of a real dive piece. The finishing is stunning. And my one complaint, they've announced that they are going to fix. They are changing from an NH35 to an NH38, which steps this watch up to my favorite British micro brand dive watch. A modern take on the classic dive watch DNA. It even comes with an adjustable clasp. I could genuinely go on about the Ocean Adventure for the rest of this video, but if you want to see more about it, check my review and buy one while they are discounted. Now, for you bargain hunters out there, these last two watches are for you. This is probably my favorite Casio release of the year. Of course, it's the MTD125 that I reviewed a couple of months back. It's still in my collection. I still stand by it. I think it's fantastic. The stunning colors are definitely what makes this watch for me. But that's not all it offers. A functional and well-designed bezel, a stainless steel strap and casing, and all the fantastic design notes that you could want for a watch at this price level. This is a hot watch at the moment, so you are gonna have to do some searching to get yourself a good deal. Depending on the dial color that you want, you could have this watch for around 60 pounds. I really do not advise paying the ridiculous £150 price tag that I've seen on some retailers' sites. That being said, at retail price, this is a fantastic watch to have in your collection, and it would make the perfect summer accompaniment. There are the usual complaints about the Casio standard uncomfortable bracelet, but for me, this fits perfectly well to wrist and has made a really good day-to-day -day watch and it'd definitely be a little strap monster. Finally, the ultimate budget watch of this list. In recent years, plenty of watchmakers have tried to move in to that budget market, but none have quite done it like Sestrian. This brand knows nothing but solid specifications at bargain prices. They certainly are NH35 merchants, but unlike their Chinese counterparts and competitors, 
They build around a original design philosophy and that's really shown in their Master Series V2. Premium aesthetic dials, fantastic case designs and beautiful finished pieces make this the ideal watch for this list, especially considering they are available for around £100. If this was priced at double, I don't think people would complain. I still think it'd be popular. Genuinely, it's an insane price for what you're getting. And it is a British-based company. I don't quite know how they're offering these watches at these prices, but if they wanted to send one in so I could inspect it and show it to you guys, I would have no complaints at all. Thanks for watching this top 10 today, you guys. I hope you have found some inspiration for incredible watches that don't kill your bank balance. Obviously, look around for deals on the watches that I have mentioned. I do have some links in the description for you to have a look at to try and find them. And I have listed my online store with plenty of bargains on that. Remember to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.